a look at the numbers uh, for this fight as we look at the Taylor tape. And ironically, Sparrow uh, also comes in one pound overweight, but they're allowing that. Uh, that's not as high as Baldo would have been. And uh, he had weeks to prepare for this, so he is ready for the fight. And the rules for our fights tonight. No standing eight count, no three knockdown rule. Only the referee can stop the fight. A fighter cannot be saved by the bell in any round. If an accidental foul or headbutt causes a fight to end within four rounds, it's a no decision. After four, they go to the scorecards for a technical decision. Now, let's, let's get this right this time. Here is Hall of Fame ring announcer, Jimmy Lennon Jr. Ladies and gentlemen, good evening and welcome to the Fight Sphere. From the Mohegan Sun Arena here in Uncasville, Connecticut, Premier Boxing Champions presents our big night of action coming your way. Brought to you by Mayweather Promotions, TGB Promotions, and Showtime. This bout in the ring is presented in association with King's Promotions, and we introduce to you our three judges scoring from ringside. From Connecticut, Ken Izzo. Also from Connecticut, Don Trella. And from New Jersey, Steve Weisfeld. Introducing our third man to the ring, the referee in charge of the action, Johnny Callis. All right, fans, here we go. Lightweights in the ring. We're scheduled 12 rounds of boxing. Introducing to you first on my left, he is fighting out of the red corner, wearing red trunks with white trim, joining us from the fight town of Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. He weighed in at 136 pounds, his record 10 wins, three losses, three wins coming by way of knockout. Introducing Avery Sparrow. His opponent across the ring fighting out of the blue corner, wearing multicolor trunks, yellow, pink, and blue trunks, and fighting out of Las Vegas, Nevada. He weighed in at a ready 134 and one quarter pounds. He is undefeated in his campaign in the ring with a record of 12 wins, no losses, 10 big wins coming by way of knockout. Here is the undefeated interim WBA lightweight world champion introducing Rolando, Roly Romero. And once again, a referee in charge. Now to give instructions is Johnny Callis. Avery, Roly, you received your instructions in the dressing room. I want you to protect yourself at all times. Above all, as we discussed, obey my commands at all times. First command is right now, touch gloves, touch them up. When the bell rings, come out and box. Good luck. Johnny Callis with 27 years of experience officiating his 294th professional bout. Rolando Romero sporting his best game face. He is ready to get down to business. He wants to erase any doubt from the critics and non-believers of ready, just Avery? how good he really is. Broly, you ready? Let's go. The bell and round one, Romero in the yellow, pink, and blue, a kaleidoscope of colors, while Avery Sparrow is wearing the red with white trim. And immediately, Al, it's uh, Romero looking to establish the jab. Yeah, he wants to jab more in this fight. He told us that was one thing he thinks he didn't do against uh, Mourinho's as much. And he's facing a man in Sparrow who has also has a good jab. And the 12 rounds that Romero logged in his last fight represent 32% of his total rounds as a pro. He has 10 KOs in 12 fights, five in the first round, but immediately Sparrow looking to establish the jab as well. Raul as he gets tagged with the jab. Oh, and the left hook knocks Corner. Sparrow down. Four, five, six, seven, eight. Really okay? It's up to me, baby. Take a couple steps sideways. Okay. That's the Come third here. time Sparrow has been down, and it was against a Southpaw in the same fight. And here against Romero, Sparrow is being overwhelmed early. Now, Hank Lundy. Uh, hurt Sparrow with the left hook in round one. He was able to get past that. Let's see if he can do that tonight. Now, this is where Roley can get desperate. You know, that was the problem in his first fight. He wants to load up with every shot. You got to set it up. Use that jab, double jab, and set the knockout up. Clubbing one-two by Romero. 
catches him with the Avery left hook. Romero up. looking to secure his sixth first round knockout. And we have just passed the midway point of the opening frame, battering the body. And Sparrow now shelling up Peekaboo guard and uh, trying his best to stave off the attack. Frank Sparrow don't is clever don't and he's resilient. And don't so wrestle. don't be don't shocked wrestle. if he gets past this bad moment. Certainly Romero would like him not to. Yeah, well, Sparrow, that, that's exactly what he needs to do, Al. Uh, use his cleverness. He's not using it right now. He needs to move side to side, give him angles. I think he already lost this round. Why stand in front of uh, Rollies? Under a minute left in the opening round, and you saw the man we talk about, Hammer and Hank. We mentioned Hank Aaron, and it looked like uh, Sparrow was really swinging for the fences with the windup, and there he is again. Clapping him Don't just punch. behind Don't the punch. ear Step as Come on, Romero go. able go, to guys. clinch with Sparrow. Callis calls off. for the break. <laughs> Rolly, keep him in front. Well, I am seeing a little bit of difference in Romero from his last fight. He is putting his punches, his combinations together more off the jab. With Marines, he was just trying to load up with every shot, guys. Romero has thrown uh, um, in, the, in this round 24 jabs, which is a lot for him. Romero break, break, looks break, like whoa, 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 a walking break. clenched fist. Step back, the step face back, that he has <laughs> carried step back. since walking into Stop. the fight sphere, and he is Keep means business, and he got down to business here in the opening round, knocking down Avery Sparrow. <laughs> Time! Bro, you just sitting in there doing nothing. Ten rim. Ten rim and sit down, bro. All right, stand up, bro. Listen, bro, you get in there, you close the gap, you have to work. How you going to close the gap and let him work? As in his fight with Hank Lundy, Sparrow had a rough moment in round one, and it came from the same punch Lundy hit him with a left hook. There's the mouthpiece flying out from a jab, and then that left hook sent him down uh, and... Romero has a terrific left hook, and that was kind of a repeat of history. And that's there's the mouthpiece flying away from that jab. And Romero has power in both hands, but the left hook is a, a punch he uses very effectively. Three blatant and low blows, okay? Keep it clean, guys. Round number two scheduled for 12. <laughs> Undefeated Rolando Romero taking on a short notice replacement Avery Sparrow and uh, Romero sporting a vicious visage. Well, it was vicious sparring sessions at Mayweather Gym that earned the attention of Floyd Mayweather himself and he signed Romero to a contract in November 2016 as Sparrow a little off balance. Yeah, but he keeps uh, doing the right thing in this round. He keeps circling around Romero, throwing that flicking jab. You know, you, when you throw that flicking jab, it keeps Romero thinking. He knows something's going to come. As long as Sparrow moves, he's going to be all right. Sparrow's jab is his calling card, and it's it's the one thing that has uh, won him go, fights that he's won and Rick, kept him in, back. even Watch the fights he lost. Even against Don't Abraham punch. Nova, in, uh, the undefeated fighter he fought in his last fight. Lost the decision, but won a bunch of rounds with that jab. Yeah, and Abraham Nova, he was a, a great amateur, had a big amateur resume. I know him from the amateurs, so, you know, that was a tough fight for uh, Sparrow. And it's Romero utilizing some lateral footwork, and there's a couple of short left hooks behind that pawing, lazy right hand of Sparrow. And now, oh, whoa. No knockdown. That was a um, modified DDT having uh, deja vu all over again. Pull my head down on that one. Yeah, I know. Keep him up. Keep him up. Come here. Love. Let's go. Well, Romero go. and. Fighting like he didn't get what he wanted for Christmas. And here he is trying to take out his frustrations. And he really took it personal. He said, if you watch the fight against Marinez without commentary, you'd see a different thing, Al. <laughs> without us, huh? Well, it was, you know, listen, Marinez boxed very effectively. And uh, that's in the rearview mirror. He wants Keep to push ahead head, in this Rolly. fight. And he's off to a very good start against Sparrow. He really is. Well, what do you like most? I mean, the way he's placing that left hook, as Al's mentioned, and now the hand speed on display. Yeah, well, mo I mean, most importantly, he's using the jab more. And you know what? He's not loading up with all his shots. He's touching, touching. He's letting the big shot come. He's trying to set it up with a big shot. As the rounds go, it seems like he's warming up and he's doing better. 
Amazing that Sparrow is the one coming forward now, and Romero's kind of using the ring. And man, again, just I, I say it, but he really is swinging for a, a faraway fence, uh, leaving himself open to Sparrow as he tries to catch Romero coming in with the left. But Keep oh, your hands there was the back a, of his head, Rolly. a shot up, just baby. at the belt line. You know, Sparrow had five weeks to train for this fight because he was Stop. on standby. So no he, holding. Uh, as he gets that warning from the referee, he is. So he was. He did get to physically prepare for this fight. And it's only fitting that days after the 20th season start for Showbox, a new generation. Showbox alum Rolando Romero putting on a show at the Fight Sphere. Water, water. Thank you. Breathe. Deep breath. Slow it down. No ice. We'll take a look at the keys to victory for uh, Romero. He's done that already. Creates some doubt early with his power. No wide punches. Guess what? He is not punching as wide as he sometimes does. Now, I thought the right hand was going to be a big power punch. Guess what? He proved me wrong. It's the left hook so far, but you may still see the right from him. As for Sparrow, uh, the jab, he has not really used that punch as well as he would like so far. Keep the left up. That would prevent him the right hand from landing, but he was hit with that left hook. And his his right hand is a pretty good one. I know he's throwing it kind of awkwardly, but he can land that punch. All right, it is round number three, scheduled for 12 in the 135 pound division. Sparrow comes out, shooting out the jab, but then being backed up and really just again, winding up with that right hand, but he's leaving himself very susceptible, Raul. Yeah, he better keep that right hand up because uh, like Al talked about, the left hook of Rollies, you know, actually it's a counter left hook. That's the way he dropped them in the, 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 the last couple of rounds. So you better watch that. Counter, there goes the counter left hook again. He's really good with that. Rollies is. He times it really well. Al, I know you wanted to uh, make mention of, uh, just want to clarify a few things from uh, doing a little housekeeping, I guess yeah, is how we really call it. Yeah, quickly, the last show I mentioned that there was only one boxing champion from Puerto Rico right now. There is one male champion, but I neglected the fact that Amanda Serrano, a multiple weight women's champ, for, is from Puerto Rico, even though she fights out of New York right now. She's a terrific boxer, and uh, I apologize for that oversight. Um, it will not happen again. Serrano <laughs> is sensational. And she it's so great. good to see uh, the women's boxing scene really start to pick up steam. All women's boxing pay-per-view coming up. And, of course, Showtime has, has featured the likes of Clarissa Shields. As right now, it's Rolando Romero and Avery Sparrow kicking things off. And I believe Romero, uh, he's showing different dimensions in this fight. He's not only attacking, if you watch him, he's trying to counter walking back. He's trying to set him up when uh, Sparrow comes forward and try to counter with that lead right hand to the body. You see how he takes a step back? That's showing me something, you know. I think he learned from the fight. And I think the problem with Broly, you know, he's used to knocking guys out. 12 and 0, 10 knockouts. When you get to this level, you're not going to be able to knock everybody out. Coming up on the final 60 seconds, there was a counter jab by Sparrow, but it's it's Romero who is really looking. Look at his uh, his vision. It's got what uh, Stephen Edwards, the great trainer, calls cat eyes, able to see in between the punches, and he really is uh, again taking on a guy who took this fight on one day's notice. But Rolando Romero so far doing what he's supposed to do, Al. Well, I think it's the way he's fighting that's impressive. You know, he's, he's te his technique is good, and uh, the way he's fighting is what's important. And Stephen Edwards, of course, from Philadelphia. We've got uh, Philly in the house, of course, with uh, Stephen Fulton in the main event, looking to add to the long list of Philadelphia champions. And, of course, Avery Sparrow calls the city a brotherly love home. Although the referee's not feeling any brotherly love in this fight. <laughs> wow, that momentarily jolted Romero. You run the round major. When I tell you to box, I need you to move your feet. That's it, okay? He's trying to time you. 
water, please. Breathe. Clean round, in the last second, he touches you with something. He should not touch you with nothing, chap. You're the better fighter, you're the better boxer, period. You got me? Good work, how you feeling? Good. Good, baby, good. Deep breath, keep, 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 keep the breath deep. You ain't gotta knock him out, just keep beating him up. Make this fight easy, show these people in the world that you can box. Show them you can box. Only way he hits you is if you stand there and let him hit you. Well, uh, what uh, Cromwell is referring to uh, is this right hand, a, a counter right hand from Sparrow. As I noted before, he's got a good right hand. He's not a big power puncher, but he can land that punch. Tell you what, he needs to land more than right hands because that was one of the few. Yeah. <laughs> this is round number four, and uh, Romero telling us that he has a really short temper. He feels he is the hardest puncher in the world, under 147 pounds, and, well, he wants to uh, showcase that power, Raul, and he's, he's showed it already tonight in that uh, first round, 40 seconds in, as Sparrow went down from a left hook to the chin. Correct, but like his uh, trainer said in the corner, you know, you don't have to knock this guy out. Just beat him up. Throw combinations. You're not going to be able to knock everybody out. That's just the way boxing goes. Some people take good shots, and that's that's the way it is. This is very similar in a way. Uh, other, I mean, in, in some ways, it's similar to what Sparrow did against Nova. He fought better against Nova, but he survived uh, after, like the Lundy fight, he got through rough times, and he's getting through them right now. The problem is he's not winning any of these rounds. Yeah, Sparrow took that fight on three weeks' notice, again, taking this fight on, uh, well, just over 24 hours' notice, and uh, now trying to walk down Romero. Romero circling to to his left, which is, of course, the power alley for Sparrow. Sparrow has just three knockouts, though, in his 10 wins. It is fascinating, though, to see Romero being the one using the whole ring as opposed to Sparrow. I mean, obviously, that's by design for Romero. Don't pull that stuff. Yeah, I think uh, Romero's having fun out there using his uh, footwork, moving in and out, feints, good jabs, and just getting some work, good work in. Yeah, before his last fight, Romero averaged nearly twice as many punches thrown per round, winning the battle of the jabs and lapping the field in terms of total connects per round and landed power shots. And that really does appear to be, uh, you know, a similar output here. He's very offensive tonight. You know, I'm going to tell you one thing, though. Uh, he's not a big knockout puncher, but I guarantee you there will be some more right hands that land for Avery Sparrow. He's got a bead with that punch, and, it, it, and a lot of times Romero's leaving himself open for it. I think Romero carries his chin a little bit high sometimes, guys, if you notice. When he backs up, oh, watch, watch that oh. club and right hand by Romero Sparrow. Romero has never been down as a pro, and Sparrow Stop. shoots out the jab. It's your second formal warning for holding. You do it again, it's a point. I, I notice uh, a, you don't agree, Al Bernstein? Well, I just, it, it's, you know, I didn't. I'm didn't not meaning to put holding. you on the spot. Yeah, I agree with <laughs> you. you. I didn't see I, me I holding, so I don't know. All right, final 10 seconds of the round. Romero looking to send a message to the judges, putting together a crafty combination using head movement to avoid Avery Sparrow. We are through four. Time. Come on, my man. No, we doing four rounds. Five rounds. He didn't get dropped, bro. Come on. Could you show me something? What you want me to? I want you to run. I'm walking out I the want jab. you to fight. Fight him? Yes. I want you to let your hands go. You let him you get three punch off, and you catching all the shots and ain't coming back. Mm -hmm. When you going to come back? I got you. All right? Yeah. Make him respect you. No, he, know, he making you respect him. Come on. Okay. Make him respect you. All right. Come on. Keep it clean, boys. The bell and round at number five, and Avery Sparrow's trainer, Rashim Jefferson, a former pro featherweight, encouraging him to make Romero respect him, but uh, Sparrow 
obviously trying to keep that jab at bay. And, and we have seen there's a nice sweeping right hand by Sparrow, but Romero now trying to back away. By the way, uh, Jefferson also trains Tevin Farmer, a former champion from Philadelphia, who just lost his title. Yeah, jolting jab by Romero. And, uh, you know, while Romero's just really in many ways getting started, guys, he's he's already had beefs with uh, Ryan Garcia and Tank <laughs> yes. Davis. And, and Raul, this lightweight division really is, to put it uh, mildly, en fuego. And, and tonight we have the 122-pound division, which is teeming with talent on full display. Yes, a lot of talent in uh, the 135-pound division that you were we're talking about it, you know, don't forget to mention Devin Haney, Teofano Even Lopez, Vasily Lomachenko, lot of, yeah, yep. Lomachenko and of course the 122 pounds, man, it's getting hot. It's getting hot in here. <laughs> but don't take off all your clothes, Raul, please. Uh, just I'll over a minute up, gone. <laughs> one, two from Sparrow. You know, Sparrow is having a little bit better round here. I'm not oh, suggesting wow. he's winning and he's got blasted. But he has had a little bit better round in terms of some of the punches he's been able to get in. And yet the more eye-catching action yeah. for my four eyes is uh, Romlando. Yeah, no Romero. question about that. Just past the midpoint. Yeah, I think Sparrow needs to uh, let more combinations go. He's uh, he's weighing a little bit too much. I mean, every now and then he lands with that club in right hand, but then that's it. He stops. He admires his work and doesn't do anything. Yeah, Romero switching stances, squaring up there momentarily, and uh, absorbs a jab to the midsection from Sparrow. That was... And it was Romero looking to counter with that sweeping left hook. And you, the power punches you see a huge edge oh. for oh, you know, there's, there's power. the right the, hand finally from Romero. He finally oh. got it in. And again, just I, I, I sense what Raul's well, mentioned too measure. about Romero's yes. jaw placement. Yeah. His again, chin is a little high. You just don't know what could happen, you know, with that club and right hand. If he if he times it right, if Spell times it right, it could land. It's happened before. Coming up on the final 30 seconds, and what it's almost like Sparrow maneuvers like a, a kind of a hammer fist almost. Uh, is that legal? <laughs> Not exactly. Hey, this is legal until the referee says something, right? Yes. Under 15 seconds now. The fifth round, Romero launches a right hand. And Romero looking to uh, punctuate the proceedings here in the fifth, but Sparrow lands the final punch. And so we are talking about the 122-pound division tonight. This is a lightweight opener, but it's about the Fab Four undefeated fighters, and we are getting set tonight as we get set for the 122-pound affair that uh, these guys are all about putting their zeros on the line. It's about daring to be great even very early on in their careers. Ra'is Salim coming up as you see him warming up as he is ready to take on vicious Victor Pasias. And Pasias, he is the walking energizer bunny. This guy is as electric as they come with his personality. And you see him already showing off some of that wattage. It's going to be a great fight. It's coming up next. Somebody, though, has got to go here in the fight Way sphere. Way to listen, Avery. Good job. Good job. Keep it clean, guys. This is round number six. And the dynamic of this fight that I think is fascinating is Romero has decided for the most part in the last couple of rounds to box more, uh, show the movement, and make Sparrow come forward. Sparrow's not by nature a come forward fighter. He is more of a boxer. Yeah, it, it's actually surprising me that Romero's deciding to box now and play it safe, you know, because he's not that kind of fighter. I, I would think he would look for the knockout. You know, we're halfway through the fight now. Yeah, and he's already, he's already dented the armor of yes. Sparrow with that first round knockdown, the third time that Sparrow has hit the deck, but that's a beautiful combination culminating with a left hook to the body by Romero, walking down don't Sparrow, punch, and punch, Sparrow punch, looks don't like he's uh, resorting to some uh, Greco-Roman wrestling roots of his. Time. Time. Free. Don't hit and hold. You understand? I warn you again, it's a point. Time in. 
So it's not strike three, you're out. Did uh, Avery Sparrow uh, do something to insult Johnny Callis <laughs> before this fight? Oh, he's not listening to him, Al, in the I'm ring. I'm just wondering. <laughs> and there it is again. At Raul, what is that? It's like uh, a side, like I'm not like a, ba a backhand, you know. But you're not allowed. That's no, you, not legal. That's not legal. No, obviously he's not. Well, now he's asking no. for trouble if he keeps doing that. <laughs> Reminds me of Nate Corey against Caleb Starnes in a Canadian <laughs> MMA match when he was getting frustrated and. I like to see Roley getting close Keep now. You know, uh, he's naturally the bigger guy. How about some hard body shots? Sparrow already took some Oh, it's oh, no go. knockdown, no knockdown. Goes go down, but it's corner. not a knockdown. No. He's injured. His leg. No knockdown. What's going on? Let's go. So his leg buckled, but he is okay uh, for the moment. And now Romero beginning to hunt down. Sparrow nudges him off, measures him, and Sparrow trying to absorb these punches and avoiding a lot of them. Stop, stop, stop. <laughs> Man, time, uh, Sparrow is time, uh, Sparrow time, is messing time. with fate, you guys. A lot of low Stay blows. right there. Stay right there. Come to the center of the ring. Come here. Two points intentional wow. low blow. Two points intentional Two, low so blow. Sparrow's, Two points intentional low blow. Sparrow's wings get clipped not once but twice by referee Johnny Callis. And, and I, you guys, it was, it was evident. He, he went to the, the nether regions. Well, yeah, you know, Sparrow's having low. problems, you know, with his legs, so he was trying to find a way out, find any way to stop the fight for a while, so he decided to hit him with a low blow. Romero's trying to stop the fight here, Al. <laughs> Romero's performance tonight, from a technique Don't standpoint, has been very, very good. And that's, that's an important point. Split the guard with the jab. I love the way he sneaks the left hook behind the guard, curling it, going around the corner. Sparrow, he wants to make it messy, wants to make it rough and tumble. Time. And so Hold far, on. it's the Rolando Romero show Time. as he keeps Hold rolling. Okay, go. Stop trying to give him the rest in the last 10 seconds. Well, it was an eventful round to be sure. First, we'll look back at combination work by Romero uh, as Sparrow comes forward. And then Romero's able to, to, to counter him well using the jab and uh, uh, then, well, the jab basically pushing him back. And there, here's the combination work in which he it punctuates it with a, a nice left hook. And that was where the, the knee buckled for, um, Sparrow. for Sparrow and he went down and it was interesting, he was able to get going. That might have been a, a technique to save some time. And then the low blow, that one was very low, and uh, he got two points deducted, and Romero took it out on him with the uppercut and several punches. So it, a lot of activity in that last it round. It's a month Let's too go. late to jingle someone's bells here, guys. As we get ready for round number seven, new year, and, uh, well, uh, a new Rolando Romero coming back after what was a controversial victory, but really looks like he's in his zone. And again, taking on a guy on one day's notice. I mean, Sparrow's behind the eight ball, but for Romero, he was preparing to fight someone else. Yeah, it was tough on both men, although Sparrow did have some time Don't because he was on standby, but still, he, he's jumping into this fight. Let's bring in our unofficial scorer, Steve Fard. How do you have it halfway through this 12-round attraction? Mo, this is getting very, very one-sided. Yeah, All right. Well, okay, so yeah, you were baby. saying, Steve? Yeah. Come on. Sorry Over about that. Okay. Hey, 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 hey! Go to your corner. And Steve Farhood just told me those were the best yeah. scores of his career, Al. <laughs> Come on, go, go, be a gentleman. <laughs> Okay. The corner presumably stopped this match for Sparrow. That's what the officials yeah. yelled up to the referee. So they just wanted to put a stop to it, apparently.
Rolando Romero improving to 13-0 uh, and 0 with his 11th victory inside the distance, and the grimace suddenly turns into a grin as he has taken care of business tonight. Uh, he used a, a nice jab to set things up and then would land this excellent left hook, and he has a terrific left. The mouthpiece came out from the jab, and then the left hook, the power punch from Romero, put him down. Yeah, it was that counter left hook. Yeah, that's the jab that set things up, uh, Raul, and then here it comes. Yeah, I, I, Al, he set up a lot of combinations today by using his jab a lot. And that's a prime example there, how he threw that jab and then he acted like he was going to throw another jab, but, you know, I call it a check hook. Actually, a, a check left hook. A la Roy Jones, you know, that's what Your thoughts, Raul Marquez? Well, yeah, I mean, uh, Rolly's really improved from his last fight. Again, he's not, he, w he wasn't trying to load up with every shot. He was trying to prepare that knockout. Uh, the only flaw that I saw is, you know, his chin was up in the air at times, you know, with a guy that has more power, like Sparrow only has three knockouts. If he gets caught with a guy that has a lot of power like that, he could hurt him, you know, so he's got to tuck that chin in. But, but besides that, you know, hey, he used some good footwork, uh, good fast crisp combinations. He was changing the speeds of his combinations, not every punch was hard you know he would set it up three four five and then a, a hard shot so hey it was a good performance for him and uh, I like what I saw so Rolando Romero backed up the uh, the trash talking tonight and let's make it official with a man who always uh, walks the walks and talks the talk Jimmy Lennon jr. Ladies and gentlemen, we have the time of 43 seconds in round number seven. Upon request of the corner, our referee in charge, Johnny Callis, stops the contest. He is the winner by way of technical knockout, and he is still undefeated, Rolando Roli Romero. Sign up for KOs. Well, he delivered his 11th tonight, and Rolando Romero keeps rolling, rolling, rolling along here in the lightweight division. We'll see how this fight ended and how the, the corner was signaling that they had had enough. Here's... You see down below the below in your screen there in the circle, they're trying to get the attention of Callis, the referee, to wave off this fight. They just, the, rec, the uh, corner had told the officials that they didn't want this fight to continue and uh, they just didn't feel right about Sparrow's performance at this juncture. Box. Roly can't buck. Roly can't buck. Roly can punch. Roly can't buck. <laughs> Rolando Romero, uh, I think he can box, Al, after Doing the his looking own at commentary. the stats. And these numbers demonstrate what he's talking about. For instance, he, he really jabbed a lot more in this uh, match. Didn't land a ton, but he landed enough to set up those other punches like the powerful left hook. And landing 49% of your power punches is very impressive. So uh, an excellent performance by this young man. Thank you. I love me too, thank you.